Jordan Peele quickly became one of my favorite horror movie uh, directors. I don't know if you would just classify him as a horror movie director, but either way, after the success of Get Out and Us, I was all in. So after hearing that he had another movie coming out and then giving it such a relatable title as something as simple as Nope, I was all in. Nope is Jordan Peele's latest horror movie in which a family of horse trainers are on their ranch and after a while and a couple of weird events they start to realize that there's something out there watching them and it's probably extraterrestrial. Now although I'm gonna keep this spoiler free I gotta say I wouldn't really call this movie a horror movie so if you're going in expecting like a scary horror movie it's not. I would say it's more of a thriller sci-fi that has a couple of horror feelings in it at times if that made sense. To jump it off the cast was amazing you had Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, Stephen Young, Keith David was even in the movie although he was in it for such a short time, I don't know if you would call it a cameo or a role. But either way, I was extremely pleased with the cast. Uh, for starters, like I said with Keith David, he plays the father of Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer's characters. And again, he wasn't in the movie much, but he definitely gave off that fatherly, I'm um, wise beyond my years, all that kind of, you know, he just gave off the dad vibe. Daniel Kaluuya did a good job in this movie as well. I don't know much about his body of work outside of his movies with Jordan Peele, but he played basically the same role of the quiet. I'm always watching more than I'm speaking. I'm introverted. You can't really read what's going on with me. He played that role again and it fit just fine. The star of the movie, I think, was Kiki Palmer. And after I saw she was in the movie at first, I really didn't know what to expect, but she brought this energy and like this lightly comedic relief at the right times and this relatability to the role and it just was... I think she was the star of the show. And to round off all the main characters that they show you in the trailer, we got Steven Young. Now let me start off by saying I tell you all the time that I call people their names off other movies. Well, if you play a memorable role for me, then that's your name no matter what you do from that point forward. I mean, take The Rock for instance. He's Dwayne Johnson, but we call him The Rock because he was such a dynamic wrestler named The Rock. So Steven Young is Glenn on Walking Dead for the rest of this review. Now Glenn's character in this movie, I mean, he didn't have much going on either, so he didn't really have a chance to express too many of his acting chops, but I will say that he had a backstory with a chimp that, at that they didn't make it tie in, so that's one of my complaints early in the video, but that was the biggest point of his character. He was this childhood star who had suffered this traumatic experience, and then now he's an adult, and it, they tried to make it make sense, and for me, it missed. And speaking of missing, that'll carry me over into the pacing of the movie. Um, it's a longer horror movie for sure, with a runtime of over two hours, so you gotta expect it to be a little slower in the beginning, and it definitely was. They're trying to set up the premise, they're trying to build on the characters and the suspense, and it is very slow, but I have to say there's a build to it that when you get to the end of the movie, it was worth it because the second half of the movie is definitely far more exciting than the first half. So the pace is more like a, a, a train taking off, if that makes sense. Now visually on the movie, I'm torn. I say that because the movie was beautiful. I mean, it was shot great, um, great location. Everything felt authentic and real. But then when we got to the reveal of the horror aspect, I wasn't too pleased. So I'm kind of torn on the movie visually. It was an interesting and new take, and I don't want to spoil anything, but it definitely caught me off guard, and it kind of threw off for me the overall visuals. So, again, I'm in the middle on visuals. Beautiful movie, but the actual reveal... I don't know. And seeing as the visuals kind of got me on the fence, that'll lead me into my complaints that I have about the movie. For one, like I said, the visuals were... They really have me torn. Um, another thing I wasn't a fan of, again, the, the slower beginning. I mean, it wasn't like snail's pace slow, but definitely could have been a little bit more. Um, but the payoff in the end kind of makes it worth it, but still, it was a little slower in the beginning, so that's a gripe for me as well. And again, another gripe is the chimp thing. It didn't make sense. It didn't tie in. They could have cut that out the movie and saved us some time, and maybe that would have helped with the pace of the movie. But to sum it up, Nope was a... Interesting take on a horror movie that, again, I wouldn't call a horror movie. It had a great cast with great acting. The pacing of the movie is... It's worth it in the end, but it's definitely slow in the beginning. The visuals are 50-50 for me. So with all that being said, I can't rate this no higher than a midday matinee. But don't let that deter you because it's definitely a movie worth watching. But all right, y'all, that's it for this one. So for the comic convoy today, I want y'all to let me know. What did you think about the visuals? If you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Whatever it is, comment below and let me know. Now, as always, if you like this video and you thought it rocked, like, comment, and subscribe to see more from me, Mike Brock. Later.